let's start off. Um, let's start off standing. Let's start off standing. We got 30 minutes to move, and then 30 minutes we'll chill in some deep holes and deep stretches. You're already up the screen, huh? <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. So just start standing in mountain pose. So turn your palms out. What, it doesn't really matter what's happening above the above your waist here. It's more about what's happening down below. So really ground down through your toes, ground down through your heels, ground down through the outer edges of your feet and the inner edges of your feet. And as you ground down the inner edges of your feet, maybe you sort of lift your arches up. So begin to activate the inner soles. See if you can do that and feel that energy rise up your legs. So feel your legs get a little bit stronger and tighter. Feel the muscles begin to sort of uh, wake up and, and begin to work here for you. Turn your palms out again. Broaden across your chest and collarbones. Elevate your heart. And then close your eyes. Come into an awareness of your breathing. You need to really focus and bring your attention to your breath. And allow your breath to begin to move your body. So the inhale elevates your heart a bit more. And the exhale relaxes your shoulders. Send your shoulders down. Inhale, go long through your spine, lift the crown of your head upwards. Exhale, feel rooted and grounded down through your feet. Take a deep inhale, fill your belly. Exhale out. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it go. One more breath together, inhale. Exhale, empty out. Whenever you're ready, blink your eyes open. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway lengthen, glance forward. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step your feet back to a plank pose, to a plank position. And right away, we're just gonna to begin to warm up the wrists. If you need to lower down to your knees, feel free to lower down to your knees. But we'll take some circles here or just sway side to side and plank. I know there's a little bit much to start, so if you do need to lower to your knees, feel free. I'm gonna go ahead and take our knees down, lower your knees, and then think about making a cow pose, so really scoop your back body, and then lower your chest down towards the floor, so pushing all the way down, flip your feet, pull yourself forward to a cobra pose. Send your shoulders down, your back, breathe in. And then exhale, round back into our first downward dog of the practice. Take your time here, pedaling out your legs, bend your knees, sway your hips. Really think about pressing the tops of your thighs back towards whatever's behind you, the wall, or the door, bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward in between your thumbs, step your right foot forward, then go ahead and step your left foot forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, rise and reach, sweep your arms up and overhead. I've been saying go ahead a lot lately in classes, release your arms down by your side, so I'm gonna try to cut that tonight. Inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, plank pose again. We hold here, wrap your triceps back, biceps forward. Collarbones, collarbones move out, heels pull you back. Again, you can move around a bit here too. So I'll lower our knees down and then think cow in the back. So really scoop the back body, lower your chest down in between your thumbs. Flip your feet over, press on up to a cobra pose. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your chin in towards your chest, round back, downward facing dog. Second down dog of the practice. So again, take your time here. If you need to move around a bit more, move around. Bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward, step your left foot forward. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, rise and reach. Sweep your arms high. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to a plank pose, this time moving right into chaturanga. So low push-up. Triceps back, 
Elbows pulled in towards your body. Flip your feet, cobra or up dog. You can also lower your knees first, taking a modified chaturanga as well. And then tuck your chin in towards your chest, round back, down dog. Take an inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward. Step or hop, this time to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Coming right back down. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to the plank pose. Again, modified chaturanga or full chaturanga. Lower your chest towards the mat, flip your feet. Upward facing or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. We'll take one more round of this. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, empty out. <sighs> Inhale, bend your knees, lift your heels. Look in between your thumbs, step or hop your feet to the top. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, rise and reach. Sweep your arms up. Exhale, release your hands down. <laughs> Anticipation, bend your knees, sit into a chair pose. Sit low, breathe in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, simply step your left foot back, rise up to a high lunge. So settle into your lunge pose, hips are squared, tailbone slightly tucked, feel your low belly pull in. Reach up through your fingertips or keep your hands in your hips. If your arms are reaching up, wrap your triceps forward. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your left hand down on the inside of the right foot. Right arm reaches high. Hips go low, right arm reaches up, and then open your torso, twist your torso open. Use the breath. Inhale. Exhale, lower the right hand up. Send your hips back, straighten your legs, lift the sole of the right foot up off the floor. Blocks, props, anything you've got to sort of enhance your practice experience, uh, feel free to use. Plant the right foot down, lift your back leg up, standing foot, fold deeply over the right leg. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Shake your head yes one more time for positive reinforcement. Breathe and lift the left leg high. That's the right word, right? And exhale, step the left foot next to the right foot. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, right up to your chair pose. Exhale, stand tall, hands come through heart center, and then release your hands down. Chair pose again. Bend your knees, sit your hips way back, breathe in. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, step your right foot long back. Rise up, high lunge. Find your lunge pose. So settle into it, bend your knees as much as you need. Square your hips off towards the front of your mat. Tuck your tailbone and feel your low belly pull in. And then reach your arms high. Wrap your triceps forward, breathe in and reach. Exhale, lower your right hand down. Left arm reaches high, hips go low. With every inhale, the crown of your head reaches forward, so grow long through your spine, and then the exhale, you twist and open. Inhale, grow long. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle the left hand down. Straighten your legs, send your hips back, lift the sole of your left foot up off the floor. Always feel free to move around in poses, especially in pyramid pose. I like to move around a lot, just swaying side to side. It feels really good for me. You know, bending knees and straightening legs and stuff. Plant your left foot down, lift your right leg up and back, standing splits. Fold deeply over the left leg. Shake your head yes, no, yes once more. Inhale, lift the right leg high, and then exhale, step the right foot next to the left foot. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward bend, chair pose on the inhale, sit low, breathe in. Exhale, rise, hands to heart center. Release your arms, sweep your hands by your hips, chair moving right into the second round. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left foot back, rise up, high lunge. Inhale here, exhale, bring your hands to your heart, press your palms together, lean forward a lot, lift your left leg to a warrior three. Heart reaches forward, heart is lifting, left heel is lifted, here for five. Find your breath, four, three, two, one. Step back with control, high lunge, reach your arms up. 
Exhale, lower the left hand down, right arm reaches high, hips go low. Inhale, reach up through your right fingertips, exhale, twist and open. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle the right hand up, straighten your legs, send the hips back. This time the sole of the right foot stays down, so press down to the big toe. And you can move around, you can bend knees and stuff. From here, bend your back knee a whole lot. So bend the back knee a couple inches off the floor, and then reach or bring your right hand to your heart, and then bring your left hand to your heart. Find the balance here. Find your focus for five, four, three, two, one. Fingertips come back down. Lift the left leg up off the floor, and then just go ahead and kick the left leg up and down for five, four, three, two, one. Release your left foot next to the right foot. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, chair pose, sit into it. Exhale, rise, hands to heart. Release your hands, sit back into chair, breathe in. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot back, rise up, high lunge. Breathe in here. Exhale, settle. Hands come to heart center, press your palms together, lean forward a lot, press your hands together, lift your back leg, warrior three. Find your focus, five, Four, three, two, one. Step back, lower your right hand down, left arm goes high, twisted low lunge. Breathe in, reach. Exhale, twist and open. Breathe in, reach. Exhale, circle the left hand down, straighten your legs, send your hips back. Again, this time the sole of the left foot presses down into the mat. Press the big toe down and feel free to move around. Maybe you find a spot that you kind of want to stay for a moment. And then bring your right knee towards the floor. Bend the right knee until it's like two inches off the floor. Bring your left hand in front of your heart. Bring your right hand in front of your heart. Find the balance here for five, four, three, two, one, fingertips come down, right leg lifts up, fold over the left leg. And again, this time we just kick the right leg up and down for five, four, three, two, one. Step the right foot next to the left foot, inhale, halfway lengthen, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, rise up, chair, sit into it. Exhale, rise, hands to heart. Sit right back, chair, breathe in. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, step or hop both. Feet back to a plank pose and move through your vinyasa. So maybe lower in chaturanga or modified chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend. And then exhale, round back downward, facing dog. Next, inhale, take your right leg high. Bring your right knee towards your nose. Round your upper back. Look in between your thumbs and then step your right foot in between your thumbs. Lower your back knee down. Come on up to a low lunge. So kneeling lunge. You can bring your hands to your hips for a moment. And then feel your legs pull in towards the midline. So squeeze your legs together here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Then reach your arms back. Your hands can face out, or maybe fingers point back. Doesn't really matter. Just feel what good. Feel what feels good. Figure out what feels good for your shoulders. Send your hips forward. Keep your butt muscles strong. Right knee goes forward, but the right heel stays down. And take an inhale here. Lift your heart. And then exhale, send your hips back without using your arms. Straighten your right leg as much as you can and reach your arms forward. As far forward as you can, round your back. Exhale here. <sighs> Inhale, pull back into the lunge. Lift your heart. Exhale, round and reach forward. It's almost as if you're a swimmer doing the butterfly. Inhale, come back, breathe in. Exhale, butterfly forward. <sighs> Two more full rounds. Inhale, come back, lift your heart. Exhale, round and reach. Last full round. Inhale, reach back, lift your heart, hips go forward. Exhale, round. Bring your hands down, tuck your back toes under, lift your right leg up, standing splits. This time, bring your back leg 
cross it behind you. So cross your right leg behind the left leg, rather cross your left, left leg behind the right leg. Extend it as far away from you as you can, then tap the foot down, come right back up, standing splits. Go ahead and extend it out to the left side, try to turn the left toes forward, and if you've got someone next to you, give them a little toe tap, and then bring the leg back, cross the leg over towards the right, extension, tap the top of the foot down, lift it back up, send it back to the center, a couple more rounds here, turn the toes out, extend the leg out towards the left, tap someone next to you, and then send it back the other side, tap the top of the foot down, lift it back up, extend it out to the left, and then release the left foot next to the right foot, inhale halfway lengthen, exhale forward bend, inhale chair, exhale rise, hands to heart, inhale chair, so right back, <laughs> exhale forward bend, inhale halfway lengthen, plant your hands, step or hop back to a plank, move through your vinyasa. You can also skip the vinyasas at any point in the practice. From down dog, inhale, take your left leg high, look forward, round your left knee and towards your chest, Round your body forward, step your left foot in between your left thumb or next to your left thumb, lower your right knee down, then come on up to a low lunge. Hands to your hips, pull your legs together, squeeze your legs towards the midline, make sure your glutes are strong, butt muscles tight, and then send the left knee forward, hips go forward, opening up the front of the right hip, front of the right leg, reach your arms back, breathe in, exhale, send the hips back, straighten the leg, and round forward. You can keep the sole of the foot down or lift it up, whatever feels more natural to you. Inhale, reach back, lift your heart, breathe in. Exhale, round forward and reach. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, butterfly stroke forward. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. I actually don't know whether to call it forward or back since yeah, that's, that's a, a tricky easy. one. Because arms are going forward and then arms are going back, but you're moving forward. It's confusing. We'll do two more rounds. Fun fact, I was on the swim team in high school and my butterfly stroke was faster than my freestyle stroke, which is usually everyone's fastest. Hands come down, curl your back, toes under, lift your right leg up. It's not because I was super fast or anything, I just wasn't great at the freestyle <laughs> stroke. Go ahead and extend your right leg out towards the left side. Get it as far away from you as you can. Tap the top of the foot down, lift it back up, come back to your center, extend out towards the right side, toes point forward, and then back to the center. Okay, give someone a kick if there's someone next to you. Not a kick, but a tap. We're just tapping the top of the foot and then tapping the toes to the right. Extend it back. Couple more rounds here. It's tricky when you're next to a wall. Toes forward, now back, forward, and I think just one more round. I think therefore we do. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, set up the right foot next to the left foot. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, rise, hands to heart center. Inhale, sit right back, chair. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or jump back. Move through your vinyasa. Follow your breath. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Bring your right knee towards your nose and towards your chest. Round forward, look in between your thumbs. Step your right foot there. Rise up, high lunge. Bring your hands by the sides of your body. So we're gonna do kind of a similar thing, except we're gonna bend and straighten the legs. So the right knee bends first, and your arms reach back, or maybe just cactus or something, whatever feels sort of natural. And then we'll go ahead and straighten the front, bend the back, push your arms forward. Imagine you are pushing a boulder, your sissy fist pushing the boulder, not up a hill, but right in front of you. And then inhale, Bend the front, reach your arms back, lift your heart, straighten the back leg, make sure to straighten the back, and then exhale, press the boulder, press the wall, straighten the front, bend the back. Inhale, pull back, straighten the back, bend the front, and then exhale, push, and bend the back, straighten the front. How many more rounds of this do we do, Marta? Push forward. I feel like that was good. Huh? You're done? Inhale, how about two more? 
Exhale, push forward. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, push forward and hold the push. Bend the back knee even deeper. Straighten the front leg a bit more. Here for five, four, three, two, one. Pull back, lift your heart. Bend the right knee, straighten the left knee. Here for five, four, three, two, one. Release your hands down. Step your right foot back. Plank pose and move through your vinyasa. Come back to down the facing dog. Inhale, take the left leg high, left knee in toward your chest. Round forward, look in between your thumbs, step your left foot there, rise up high, lunge. Inhale here, exhale, settle. And then same thing, bring your hands by your side, both sides of your body. We're gonna go ahead and straighten the front first, bend the back, and press forward. Whew. Feel it's like rounding your back. Inhale, reach your arms back, lift your heart high. Exhale, change the legs and press forward. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, push forward. The truth is, I didn't count on the first side. So I guess it was like seven ish. Seven ish? Yeah. What was this? Three? That was the other confession. I hadn't been <laughs> on this round either. It's like four. We'll call that three. <laughs> four. Push and pull. Six. Push. Pull back. Last time on the push forward. So bend the right knee a whole lot. Straighten the left leg as much as you can. Press your arms forward. Round your back. Here for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pull your arms back. Straighten your back leg. Bend your front. Reach your arms back. Lift your heart for five. Four. Three. Two. One, release your hands down. Step your left foot back. Let's move through a vinyasa or skip it. Come right back to downward facing dog. All right, before we move into the yin portion, roll forward to a plank. It's supposed to be an easy class. Wednesday, Wednesday night's easy class. <laughs> Just one push up, one full push up. We all got this. You got this at home. Push down, push up. Downward facing dog, bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward, step jump, float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen, moving right into yin. Peace fingers, grab the big toes, or maybe hands slide under the feet. So two options here, or again, dangle your arms, maybe catch elbows, bend your knees as much as you need. So the yin part of class will hold poses for about uh, two to three minutes each depending on how our time ends up panning out. So again, you have peace fingers on the big toes, pulling yourself down, or hands sort of under the feet, under the front of the feet, and you, know, you can give yourself a nice pull. And always in the first little bit in yin poses, uh, feel free to move around. So find sort of the depth, find the position that works for you, and then hold that position. Yep, that's a good option too. That's nice. Stepping on the on the palms too feels good. <laughs> Any intuitive movement is always welcome. Sweat in my bit. Yeah, for sure. It feels good. Warming. <laughs> and surprising.
I always know that you could change position too. If it gets to a point where something isn't serving you, just move around a bit, figure it out, readjust, and come back. Catching hands behind your legs is also a nice sort of safety net. You can just fold forward into it. And again, having these bend just feels good for you. Release your hands down to the mat. Press your hands down or fingertips down. Inhale, halfway lengthen and bend your knees a whole lot. Heel toe your feet towards the edges of your mat and then sit your hips down. Squat pose. Um, if you want to modify or sort of prop up your squat, you could sit on something that might be real helpful or you can roll up your mat um, to a nice degree and then step your heels on the mat. If your heels don't touch down in Malasana, you're a bad person. Just totally kidding, just kidding. If your heels don't touch down, it means nothing. It's probably really, um, I mean, if you see how long Marta's legs are, her bones are a lot longer than mine. Um, so that makes it a bit tougher to sort of find this range. Um, so it'll take longer to get there. But again, it means nothing except Different body shapes. You know, like, oh different hip orientations. And again, once we're here, you can move around, maybe swaying, maybe holding your hands together or bring your head down, press your hands together. You can move your head around side to side, circles. Once you've sort of found the position that you're comfortable in, you can then begin to tuck your chin in towards your chest, then round your upper back slightly. You can walk your hands forward or walk your hands closer towards you. We'll keep your hands where they are. Practicing yin is a really nice way to practice presence, especially in a pose like this, like a squat. You can't really, you can't really escape it. You can't really go outside of this of this pose, outside of this position. It's like almost stuck here with with your body in this shape, and you've got to feel it out and stay. Go ahead and bring your hands down behind you. Bring your seat down to the mat. Extend your legs out just a little bit in front of you. Bring your hands a little bit further back. Lift your heart and then sway your legs side to side. Just feeling out the internal and external rotation of the hips. Massaging out the hips and the core. And then pause, come back upright, bring the soles of your feet together, asana or butterfly. 
you can take a longer butterfly stance here and that might feel nice for you, or a shorter butterfly stance and that might feel nice for you. Prop up with whatever you've got or whatever you need. You can maybe begin by reaching your hands out in front of you floor, walk your fingertips forward, lean out, lean forward, and then fold, maybe bring your forearms down. Maybe you prop your elbows up to bring your head, your chin, onto your hands. Could I get one block? The other block? Please. Thank you. Whatever you've got lying around, the pillow, um, blankets, anything, books. It's always really nice to just allow your forehead to rest on something. Whether it's really elevated or really low, it doesn't matter. Just letting the forehead come to a rest is a really nice way to sort of ease any tension in the forehead. Maybe check in and slow down um, any thoughts or overthinking. And if at any point you feel the need to take a breath, like a big deep breath, and then just really let it go, then you know, feel free to do so. And maybe if anything comes up, any thoughts or stories come up and you, you feel like you can breathe it out and just let it go, send it out with breath. Slowly walk your hands closer to you. Just press your torso up. Sit up nice and tall. You can bring your legs together. Maybe just move them in and out with your arms. We're going to roll over onto our belly. So maybe just swing your legs around to one side and then back behind you. We're going to come into a sphinx pose. Shoulders over elbows, hands out in front of you, heart lifted. And some days this is my only back bending posture. Sometimes I just sit and read like this or sit and watch, you know, Netflix or something or do some work on the computer. It's a really nice pose that can sort of provide um, a nice back bend, nice front body opening in everyday activities. With so many of our routines and activities being a rounding um, or coming with sort of the side effects and, and baggage of our routines and activities are rounding of the shoulders, whether it's driving in a car or texting on the phone, working in an office or on a computer, um, 
or even just when you sort of get in the flow and, and you're doing something, you're working on something, whether it's creatively or um, or if you're cooking in the kitchen, you start to sort of hunch over a little bit. This is a really nice way to relieve that. Experts are calling it the, the texting neck. to lower your chin and throw your chest or move your head around. Keep your heart nice and lifted. That's really important just to bring a lot of front body lengthening into our lives. Just to sort of counteract the slouching Take this a little bit further. You can bring your hands maybe towards the corners of your mat. Press down into your hands, straighten your arms to your degree, and send your shoulders down your back. Lift your heart up a bit higher. Seal pose. And then lower on down. Make a pillow with your hands and bring your forehead down onto it. And then we'll come back up, extend the right arm out towards the right side or cactus arm. So 90 degree angle or extend it out. We'll take a left hand underneath the left shoulder or nearby. Lift the left leg up, step the left foot over the right hip and stretch out the front of the right side body, so right chest, right shoulder. Just here for a moment. Go ahead and come back to your center slowly, move real slowly and carefully here. Right hand comes underneath the right shoulder, left arm it extended or cactus 90 degree angle with the right leg up step the right leg over the left hip left ear can come down come back to your center Press your hands underneath, underneath your shoulders, press them down, lift on up to a cobra. And then exhale round to a downward facing dog. Take your time getting there. Step your right foot outside your right hand, coming into a lizard lunge. Lower your left knee down, reach your heart forward, and flip your back foot. You can stay up on hands here. Or come down to forearms on prop, on a prop or props. It's nice to create a middle height for the for for the elbows and forearms first. Or stay up on your hands for a bit, maybe move around, feel it out. I was gonna ask you if you want to do lizard or pigeon. And I forgot to ask, so here we are. And I think we can still fit both in. Spoiler alert. Don't worry about form, really. So your right knee can be moving out to the right side, or it can stay close to right shoulder. Just be concerned with how it feels in your body. If it feels like it's, it's um, good for you and serving you and stretching you in, in a nice comfortable way, semi-comfortable way in this pose. There should be strain but no pain. My current movement teacher over in Australia, Jackson Lennon, says 
It should be, you should feel strain but no pain, how to do it with that impression. No. That wasn't very strain sounding. Strain but no pain. What was that? So I did that again. Strain but no pain. Mm -hmm. Practice it later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> circle back. And circle back. Next one, then I will look for the strain but no pain. It hasn't been a good day for impressions. You're usually spot on, but. It has been a rough day. <laughs> Maybe it's the pollen. It's the allergies sort of clogging everything up. Yeah, it's probably pollen. Really nice to listen to these with holes there. And just sort of lay on it. I'm not there today either. I'm not there. <laughs> All right, adding on here if you want to add on here. You can either stand on the left forearm or on the left hand. Right hand can press into the right leg. Keep the right foot flexed a lot. Press the leg open. And then go ahead and reach up. Set it with the knee. Bend the left knee. Catch the left foot if you can. Catch it if you can. Don't worry about it if you don't. Keep reaching for it and keep pulling it in towards your, your hand if you don't have to catch it. If you have to catch, pull and kick, pull and kick. So staying active sort of either way. and then release the foot. Right hand comes back down the rim, right knee points up, come back up onto your hands. Let's make your way back into a downward facing dog. Step the right foot back, lift your hips up and, and away. Pedal it out. And step your left foot to the outside of your left. Second side, reach your heart forward, lower your right knee down, flip your right foot. Again, stay up on hands, come down to forearms on the floor or a prop, creating a middle setting. And take your time, move around as much as you need as much as feels good for you. Got a loose thread on my shorts. Again, don't really worry necessarily about form and alignment here. If your left leg is pointing out towards the left, or if your left toes are pointing out or in, don't worry. Just as long as it's feeling good and sustainable for you.
Again, the option to come up onto your right hand or stand your right forearm, either one. Left hand presses into the left leg. Flex the left foot a lot as you press the leg open. You can also keep the left knee pointed up. You don't have to press it open. Reach back with the left hand, bend the right knee, catch the foot. And then pull your foot in towards your body, kick your foot to your hand. up, let's step back into the downward facing dog, bend your knees, sway your hips, moving into pigeon pose, lift your right leg up, bring your right knee right behind your right wrist, left or right foot behind the left wrist. So you can have your shin parallel with the top of your mat or it could be, the foot can be turned in, whatever works for you or whatever range you're working with. Extend the left leg long behind you. Try to keep the left leg in line with the left hip and try to have your hips squared off with your mat. Find your pigeon fold in your own time. So maybe it takes you a couple moments to set up and get comfortable. Maybe you move around a little bit. might take a couple, maybe even three minutes to get into your fullest pose or, or the pose that, you know, sort of works for you. It might take time to sort of get into it. So if you're not, you know, right into pigeon right away, don't worry. You can stay lifted and elevated as long as you need. Strain and no pain. I think that's a little bit better, but I'll, I'll leave it there for the night. Also use your breath to go deeper, so you take a deep inhale in, and a calming exhale out, <sighs> like a sigh, you can sort of settle in a bit more, or you might be able to. It just takes letting go to to be able to keep moving forward, to go deeper. And walk your hands slowly back underneath your shoulders. Press into your hands, lift your torso up. Exhale, let it go. Curl your back toes under. Lift your legs up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs, bend your knees, sway your hips. And then 
let's take pigeon on the left side. So lift your left leg, bring your left shin either parallel, or make the right, left knee points forward, and the right foot and the left foot moves back. The hips are squared, or working towards being squared. Take your time getting into the pose. your breath. <sighs> for a lot of us, this pose isn't comfortable. That's for sure. But it does, it does do a lot. It does really open up from the outer hip. Couple more breaths here. And then walk your hands underneath your shoulders, press into your hands, and rise on up on an inhale. And exhale, let it go. Let's come back into one more downward facing dog. Make your way there carefully and slowly. And paddle your leg, bend your knees, sway your hips. Bring your knees down, sit back onto your heels. Hands come to your thighs. Take a moment here. Exhale. We'll take one, one more pose before Shavasana will take a seated forward bend. Lay out and catch some rest. So lift your hips, scoot your heels over to one side or the other. Extend your legs towards the front of your mat. Use as many props as you would like. You can prop up your seat. Um, if you don't have any props, a nice option is just to bend your knees and bring your forearms and sort of hug your knees together and, and have your forearms underneath your knees. Now where you can kind of keep your legs lifted or bring your forearms down. So seated forward bend. And so we will finish off the practice today. And again, move around. 
around as much as you need. You can try out different variations catching your feet, and just walking your hands alongside the length of your legs. It could also be nice to prop your forehead up on something here so you can really let go in the neck. Or just letting your chin round in towards your chest. That can also provide some nice sensation. Thirty more seconds here. If you would like to fold in a bit deeper, maybe slide your arms out from under your legs. Kind of straighten the legs. Lean your heart out. Maybe you catch the outer edges of your feet and feel a slight pulling, or utilize a slight pulling of your arms. your hands back up as you round up to a seat. And very simply, we'll just lie on our entire backs. Bend your knees, plant your feet. We'll take just a quick bridge, an active bridge, and then a twisting pose, a twist to each side, and then we'll rest the Shavasana. Sound good? All right, so plant your feet by hip with distance apart. Middle fingers touch your heels, lift your hips up off the floor. Just sort of bring some evenness back into the front and back side of the body, some stabilization. One more full cycle of breath here. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower everything down. Two options for the twist. You can simply allow your knees to turn towards the left and the right knee falls just behind the left foot or stack your knees stack your legs and twist that way i've been really enjoying recently just allowing both knees to turn over to one side and come back through center and then just take the other side, knees turn towards the right. You can stack legs or just have them staggered. Maybe look over your left shoulder. here take your feet as wide as your mat bring your knees to touch and then just simply cross your arms across your chest take your arms across your chest maybe catch opposite shoulder and sway your upper body side to side so you create some space between your shoulder blades and then exhale here reach your arms back out cross the opposite arm on top catch opposite shoulders again maybe sway in Swing side to side. And then simply release your arms. 
down by your sides, palms turned up, extend the right leg towards the right corner of your mat, and the left leg towards the left corner of your mat. Allow your toes to turn away from each other. Any resting position will do. So if you are nearby a wall and want to do legs at the wall, put the reedic around you, feel free to do so. Or any leg variation, arm variation here is welcome. Another the traditional Javasana is what I'll be sort of cueing. Just let your muscles relax, let your joints relax. Allowing your shoulders and hips to be heavy. Expand your ribcage and then exhale completely, let it go. <sighs> Bring movement back into your hands and feet. Roll out your wrists and ankles, maybe extend your arms and, and your legs. And then simply roll over to one side or the other.
pressing up to a comfortable seated position. Notice yourself. Observe the effects of your practice. And then bring your hands together in front of your heart. Take a moment to honor all of your efforts and honor all of your intentions and really just honoring your practice. We'll take a deep inhale together and exhale, sigh it out. Deep inhale, exhale, release. As always, thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste. Namaste. Thanks for practicing with us. <laughs>